What type of insect breathes fire? A dragonfly. Just kidding. But on Brady's bug show today, we're going on a dragonfly hunt. Dragonflies live near warm climates near water, like ponds, swamps, and marshes. Come on, guys, let's see what we can find. Hearties, I'm on Captain John's Island. This is the perfect place to find dragonflies because it's surrounded by the swampy waters. Do you know that a dragonfly has three stages in its life cycle? Egg, nymph, and adult. When a mommy dragonfly and a daddy dragonfly. Let me tell her super much. They continue the dragonfly's life cycle. After mating, the female dragonfly lays her eggs underwater. I think this would be the perfect place for any mommy dragonfly to lay her egg. The egg hatches into a nymph that will live for several years. It lives most of its life beneath the water surface. This looks like a perfect spot to drop anchor and see if we can find any more bug mickeys. I'm dipping my net beneath the water surface and scooping it out. Scoop and scoop, and I'm scooping it out, and now it's out. Whoa! No nymphs, but we caught a beetle. Mmm, just see we Scooping up dragonfly nymphs, scooping up dragonfly nymphs. Oh my gosh! Caught one. Oh my gosh, I can't believe this, I just caught one. I put him on this little bench, and then, look, do you see him? He's that little black thing. Oh, come on, my finger. Oh, look, check him out. <laughs> Oh, whoopsie. Just really excited that I, this is my first time I've caught a dragonfly nymph. <laughs> I picked him up by my hand and he was a little bit ticklish. Let's transfer him to a container to study. Look at this guy go. I'm gonna name him Turbo. To swim, Turbo sucks in water into his butt and then shoots it out like a tiny rocket. Pew, pew. Then he bursted onto this leaf to go surfing. Surfing, surfing, we're going surfing, surfing. The last stage of the life cycle, the nymph crawls out of the water and, and then it sheds its exoskeleton. I wish I could keep Turbo as a pet to see that awesome metamorphosis. But I can't wait several years. Bye bye Turbo. Back in the water you go. Oh, oh, sorry, hardly ending. Let's see if we can find any more adult dragonflies. We were here for dragonflies, but we found a turtle. Meet Shelly. He's fast. Most people think these guys are slow, but they're actually pretty fast. Time to get back to catching dragonflies. Bye, Shelly. I found a dead dragonfly that ants were eating. Not always they're the predator, but sometimes they're the prey. Look at them go. Poor little dragonfly. I guess everybody's gotta eat. Spy two dragonflies on a twig. Let's get a closer look. Make sure not to scare them. Boom! Spot another one. Can you see it? Point at it. Whoa. Wow. Cool, huh? I caught one in the net. I'm being really gentle to show you in the camera up close. Oh man, he got a tight grip. I'm mm, just gonna let him go. Yes, I caught another one. Oh, 
Whoops. Don't scare me. Don't scare me. It turns out dragon pets are really, really hard to catch. But we do have this dead one guy named Zombie. A dragonfly is an insect. It has six legs and it has a head, thorax, and abdomen. Here is its head with its huge eyes. The thorax is where the wings are attached and the abdomen is this long part of its body. They're harmless to humans even though they look like they have a large stinger. But that's just their abdomen. Even though dragonflies have six legs, they're not good walkers. But they are really good flyers with their two sets of wings. They can fly around and around. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Dragonflies can fly up to 35 miles per hour. Making us the fastest flying insect. We should have named it Sonic, but Zombie can fly zero miles per hour because it's dead. Bit. Dragonflies can catch their favorite food by wrapping their legs into a basket. I wish I was holding a live one so I could just put it on the leg, my leg and then they would eat the mosquitoes. Dragonflies have two large compound eyes. These eyes are made of a thousand little eyes and allows the dragonfly to see in every direction. This gives the dragonflies the best eyesight in the bug world. Find some calm, cool water on a sunny day and go dragonfly hunting. And don't be scared if one lands on your head because that's good luck. Thanks for watching Brady's Bug Show.